three-time Belmopan era representative John Saul Deaver is intent on once again representing Belmopan under the UDP banner, following an embarrassing defeat in November 2020. One would have thought that Sal Deaver would bow out after his popularity in Belmopan fell from 54% in 2015 to an all-time low of 29% in 2020. But for John Sal Deaver, every low is like a stepping stone to rise up once again. And with the spate of unhappiness that he has experienced over the past three years, Sal Deaver is hoping to return to the apex of his political career once again. And this morning, he appeared on Open Your Eyes, where he had a mouthful to say about his party leader, Moses Shinebarrow's campaign against him. My party leader has gone uh, on a limb against what the National Party Council um, decided, and he on his own has embarked on this campaign against me. I, um, I'm not worried about that, mm -hmm. yeah. because one, it's the people of Belmopan now that has to make that decision, and two, in the general election to come, it is still the people of Belmopan, and so they will say how they feel about John Saldiva, not what Shine Barrow feels about John Saldiva. Having worked hard to, to get, uh, for instance, the party leader where he is now as party leader, um, for him to, to know without evidence, mm -hmm. trying to push me out of politics, speaks to his character, not to mine. Um, I think that the people of Belmopan know me, yeah. know who I am know the lifestyle that I live, know the life that I live, and know that that belies what is the narrative that they're saying about me. People of Belmopan know, don't know that John, Sal just John Saldiva don't know me to be that person. Mm. That narrative Saldiva speaks about has to do with the U.S. State Department's designation of him as a significantly corrupt individual. Also, back in February 2020, in the midst of the Lev Derman scandal, former UDP leader Dean Barrow requested that Saldivar step down from his position as party leader-elect only 72 hours after being voted into office. I, I think the first thing I want to say with respect to that and remind our people, and this is what the Belmopan people have been saying to me, mm -hmm. John, in all that you have been accused of, it mm -hmm. has never involved public funds. It has never involved taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. um, you can't say that for a lot of politicians uh, present and past um, in, in terms of how they have treated with the people's money. I have never been involved in any scandal at all that, that, that involves people's money. What I'm being accused of, what I have been accused of with respect to accepting funding from a, an American businessman, mm -hmm. as has been said from the beginning, is not illegal is not against any law and I don't believe that that the people of Belmopan will hold me to a, a standard of campaign uh, financing law that is not existent mm -hmm. um, and so that's what I'm hearing from them John you haven't done anything that any other politician um, doesn't do but what I'm trying to understand and um, this is this has been a, a question of mine for the longest is why ally yourself with this person and, well, and and what did they have? Well, I understand why you use the funds. I fine. I putting that aside. Why ally yourself with this man? Well, and what did he have to offer? It's to an these? excellent. It's an excellent question, and and I've answered it many times before. Um, the last time I saw Lev Dermen was twenty. I believe twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. He was arrested in twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. He was never known before that by me or by anyone and any background check that was made about him, none of these facts were yeah. there. And Saldivar continues on his own campaign, calling on the United States to bring the evidence they have on him. He certainly does not believe the residents of Belmopan view him in that light. Standing on his accomplishments as era representative for Belmopan, and there are many over his 13 years, Saldiva says he still has fresh vision for the capital city. I want to start right where I just mentioned with John Just Now Sports. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it, it is practically dying in, in Belmopan on, under the new um, regime. Um, many of the programs that, that we used to do, um, they're having difficulty finding the funding uh, to get it done. 
um, not just in football. There has not been a, 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 a basketball tournament. They, they, you know, they, 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 the people, um, tennis tournaments, all, all the things that we, we used to do, volleyball. Um, during the summer, we used to have uh, summer camps for, for all manner of, of, of um, sports uh, in, in Benopan. And all of those things have come to a halt. We, we used to do two um, Mundialito competitions every year um, and, 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 no, I, and they're still doing it but I understand they, they're struggling mm -hmm. to come up with the funding um, to get it done. Um, so that's in sports. In infrastructure, we, we constructed over 130 um, streets in, in Belmopan, paved and cemented over 130. I don't think they have surpassed 10 now in these two years. Um, that they have done, Pe people, people notice it. And yes, the people who are getting their street paved, the few, they, they're happy. Yeah. But compare 10 to 130, um, Isidora Beaton Stadium, it was my hope and still is my hope that we could get an indoor basketball facility now where we can do basketball and, and volleyball because obviously the UB gym is not as, as readily available to our community as, as we would want it to be. Saldiva says he is committed to work with his party leader if he is to be successful on Sunday, despite Barrow's support for Colonel Lovell. But does the future hold an alliance between John Saldiva and Patrick Farber to oust Shine Barrow? Not for any um, bad motive, but certainly to try to make sure we fix what you know the leadership uh, issues that we may perceive. Mm -hmm. But um, not to try to oust. I don't like those those kinds of words because we, I have no ill feeling towards Shine Barrow. Um, <laughs> I believe his story is a great one, mm -hmm. and that is why I I, I, I latched on to his his leadership back in in March of this year. I, I like the underdog story. I like the, the second chance story. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, the rest was up to him, is up to him, uh, how he um, fulfills his, his legacy. And um, at least to the extent that he has turned uh, on me, I'm not too sure that is helpful for his legacy. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.